Howdy folks, this is Jared with Flutie Lake Homestead and uh, this morning I thought I'd take you up here and show you my new garden plow and I uh, think you'll be surprised what a fine job that you're doing so we'll go up here and I'll show you what I got okay here's a, the three new garden plows we got these are the, this new model here is a composting plow it takes everything uh, that's on the ground and roots it up and eats it and composts it back out onto your garden does a mighty fine job I do believe this whole hill is about three foot tall when I put these plows in there and uh, I got all these one's mine one's my grandpa's and one's my uh, mom, mother and father-in-law and sister-in-law sharing one and uh, we got these these about 30 pounds and uh, this one here ended up being a runt but he's starting to grow pretty good now, but he's been slow getting going. And uh, this one is ours, and uh, Finley named it Fluffy. So, old Fluffy's are looking good. And this old big boy here has really been growing good. I bet he weighs 100 pounds now. If not close to it. And uh, I put electric fence up here. And uh, I've got this little log building I used to have chickens in, and we put a floor in it. And uh, got it fixed up nice for them. Got them a feeder in there. They have hog feed 24-7. And I feed them extra stuff every day. They get corn, and they get uh, vegetable scraps and stuff like that. Old weeds I pull out of the garden. And uh, I've moved this fence three times, or this is twice now, yeah. Uh, I had it started out down here by my little shed and uh, once I got that rooted up uh, I have them just the little plastic posts I'll take you up here and show you and then I can move them real easy just have to run a strand of wire and uh, they've got out twice on me but once was my fault and once was their fault so you just got to keep a check on your fence because uh, you know if this side here has this wove wire and I just run one strand of electric in here but if something grounds that they will get out on you eventually they're pretty good about uh, they stay in if there ain't no electric for a while because they you know they know that there should be electric on it but they will figure it out eventually okay I just want to show you my pig house here this is my little log chicken house I used to have and uh, we put a floor in it you see and uh, over here we have just a rubber pan and I have this thing boards around it and screwed down good so they can't root it up and then here is a double pig feeder and I keep it full and uh, it's got a mixture of uh, pellets and more of a powdered pig food and corn all mixed together and then uh, a lot I'll take the powdery pig food and make them a liquidy slop and put in here a lot and then uh, I cut a bigger hole in the back wall here and I'll show you here if you see there's my door over here and uh, you see this there's this board running across here and uh, I kept trying to think of how I was gonna I'd hate to have to get in there every day and uh, open and close the door so I rigged up this little system there's this little board this same board here that's sticking out and uh, to close my door all I have to do all right you can see the door raise it up give it a pull and closes the door and uh, then it locks back in place I have this uh, this other board on the bottom here screwed to it and that way when you push it it falls down and latches close so they can't open it or they can't close it and uh, worked out really good so far and then if I have to hurry and close the door well if I want to separate one in or out I can just Swing it open real quick, pretty quick, and it's locked now. A big hog could probably push the bottom of it open if he really, really wanted to, but uh, I have another lock over here that I can close down if I had a, a more intense situation I had to deal with. But they are really looking good. This pen's worked out good for them. They love to scratch.
you see that feeder works out perfect. They, they never go without food. And in my experience with pigs before, it seemed like they don't waste near as much like that. Uh, if you keep a feeder on there, they don't fight over it and throw it out all over the place. And also, we have here this 55 gallon barrel and I have a uh, three quarter inch pipe threaded into the bottom there. When I have a valve, I can drain it. But on the other side is a metal nipple that is a hog water. And it's got a little, like a rabbit water kind of. It's got a little finger that sticks out and they just bite it and it sh shoots water into their mouth. So that works out really good for them. They always have plenty of fresh water. The rain fills it up. Okay, here's up here in, on the hill where the pigs are. And you can see what a good job they're doing rooting this up. If you remember a few years ago, I plowed all this with a tiller. Had a time doing it, but I did it. And uh, they've done a lot better job so far than what I'd done. And I'm going to leave them in here a while longer. I don't want them to destroy this, but I just want them to be able to get the rest of this green and uh, root this up good. And then I think I'm going to try to plant maybe a late garden up here. Um, my corn didn't do real good up here, so I probably won't plant any corn. But we'll probably plant us some late beans. I might put some of my fall cabbage up here. And uh, it'd be a real spot to plant my a big patch of uh, mustard and turnips and kale. So we may go that route. But it's muddy up here right now. It rained yesterday. But you can see... I mean, they got it rooted up nice. Just like you run a big bull tongue plow through it. They've still got some up here to work on. And once I get this uh, paddock rooted up, I will probably move my fence down here along the edge of the woods. There's some brush and uh, weeds over in there. And I'll probably let them clear that out next. And I also maybe up in here, I'm not sure. There's some nice pawpaw trees up here, though I may not want them to root them up. But uh, every day or two you got to get up in here and check your fence because they'll roll a rock over into it or a big uh, clump of dirt. And uh, the way I check it normally, I'll go to a metal post and I'll take me a screwdriver or a pair of rubber handle pliers I carry with me when I'm checking fence and I'll arc it over from the wire to the post. And if it arcs, then I know my fence is still good. And if it don't, then you've got a ground situation somewhere. I just laid them up in uh, storage. Okay, that's all I got for you this morning. I appreciate y'all watching and I uh, appreciate all you new subscribers. We're uh, less than 100 away from 20,000. And uh, that really tickles me to death, and uh, you don't know how much I appreciate you. And uh, until the next video, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you have a very blessed day.